guys, so today we're gonna be opening up this package here. So my really good friend from school hit me up not too long ago and they were starting to do some um, like custom vinyl record crates and he had sent me one that he did and we kind of went back and forth a little bit. I said I didn't know what to ask for. I had a few different ideas. Went with his gut and started making me one and sent me a few pictures and I loved it. He ended up bringing it to my mom's house and now I have it. So I've had it for a while but I'm super excited because I've been wanting a crate. As you guys know I do a lot of vinyl record videos so I wanted a crate to put in all of my new records so that way they were being stored properly because what I used to do was stack them on top of my regular records um, and I didn't like doing that so then I would pull them out so they were kind of out a little bit um, separated from my collection and then when I would go to film the video I'd pull them all off the shelf but what I'm gonna do now is just put all my new ones in this crate and I made room for it it's gonna look really cute and then when I go to film the video I can just pick up the crate and go through the crate with you guys and they'll be stored properly so they're not risking getting damaged or anything so we are going to just go ahead and put the crate together and yeah if you guys want to check out some of his art and stuff I will link his Instagram um, down below as well as his Twitter and if you guys are interested in getting anything from him I'm sure you guys can shoot him a message and try and work something out I know that he's been trying to run an Etsy shop and work on shipping and all that stuff to see how it would work for him so yeah I'm super excited so let's just rip this open I almost don't want to destroy this paper but it's inevitable I feel like and he did tell me it was one of these Crosley crates which is great because Crosley's a shit brand when it comes to turntables but some of their accessories aren't too bad and I've been looking at the Crosley crates at Walmart but this one is customized. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. And then this is the back. He said that they're supposed to hold 72 records. Oh, holds up to 75 albums. Wood construction, easy to assemble. Oh my God, it smells so good because wood just smells amazing, so. Oh, that is so cool. It's like a white type of Oh, this is what he meant by it came undone the staples, but yeah, when I screw it, it'll, it'll be fine. So this must be the bottom, I guess. It's like Dalmatian spots. And he like made it look rustic. So cool. So cool. Okay. Let's see what this side looks like. Oh, ha ha. It says 101. So it looks like it is red and white. Oh my god, there's spots on the side! Shut up, that is so cute. I feel like Cruella whenever I like fantasize about Dalmatian spots. My bad. So these must be the sides. Look at the spots that he did, they look like cinder spots. So cute! And I like that he did like the worn kind of rustic look to it. And then the 101. And then the Crosley has the spots. So cute! <gasps> Whoa.
So a huge, huge thank you to Will for going out of his way to go ahead and make me this really, really cute custom vinyl record 101 Dalmatian crate. I love the red. I love the red. And it's perfect for what I wanted it for. Don't mind my disinfectant wipes and stuff by it. Um, it's right near my succulents, so this is their watering jug, and that's where they've always been. I just had to scoot them off because of the crate now. I think it fits in really well right down there next to my records, and it's going to be great to put all my new ones in and store them vertically and safely. Uh, but they won't stay in there once they're in the video, then they'll be added to my shelf over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was kind of like a fun video, just me putting together a crate. I'll link um, down below the specific crate that this one is. And I will also link below Will's information if any of you guys want to check out his art and some of the stuff that he does. He does some really cool Fallout stuff. So I'll link it all down below for you guys to go ahead and check out. I love y'all and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Look at it! You mean like drill, uh, drill screw slots? No, it, it came all like that. I just had to put it together. Oh, he bought that. A Crosley. So now all of the new ones that haven't been in a collection update will go in here instead of me setting them up here. So that way they're safely stored and separated, and then once I do the video, they get put on the shelf. Which I'm gonna need a new shelf soon. I've been wanting the Ikea ones, but they're like hundreds of dollars. That's what most people use, because they're just this height, so they would fit perfect under here. But I don't even know, there's an Ikea somewhere in Ohio. Yeah. Because that's where my bed came from. But is it in Columbus? Uh, yeah, because yeah, we drive past it.